Welcome back. So now that we have profit and loss statement, the next step would definitely be to prepare the balance sheet as well. So the easiest way of doing that will be, you know, just replicate this sheet and change the filter here. So that is exactly how I am doing going to do that. So first of all, to copy paste the sheet, I will press the control key, click here and, you know, drag it this side. And now you can see I have a copy of the sheet. So I will go back to my previous sheet and I will rename that as P and L and I'm renaming this my second sheet as balance sheet okay so now let us uh, make it uh, let us convert it to the balance sheet for that I will simply go here in the filter I'll select the balance sheet and click on OK and now the next thing of course you know we would be expecting subtotals for all of these categories so even though Excel has done a pretty good job it has defined our balance sheet in asset side and liabilities and equity side because data was so well organized we did not have to do a lot of effort here and uh, the only thing that is missing of course i did not use that there in the option of uh, you know uh, in the pnl i was not using subtotals there so i will be adding the subtotals here for all of these categories but before i do that you can see that there is no point of expanding this line neither this line should be expanded nor this line should be expanded okay now let us go to the profit uh, the design option and let us add the subtotals so i will say so show all subtotals at the bottom of the group and now you can see that we have subtotals for current assets non-current assets liabilities and eventually we will have the subtotal for the equity as well now if you like to expand this uh, complete values uh, you know all of these accounts to the sub account as well you can do that of course so i will quickly drag it down here it has distorted all of my reports so i will have to work it back so i actually wanted to represent the cash and you know cash at bank and cash in hand so i will i will be able to do that using this account level two details as well but you will definitely work in the way that you are liking liking the most so i think let me quickly expand as needed so i think that is it so the balance sheet is in nice format now the next thing that we need to do is you know is actually very technical so we have to look at these values very closely and you will see that you know these values are actually falling not something that we would expect in the balance sheet so let me explain you what is happening here the default behavior of this pivot table is that the values are calculated for this specific period so when you are looking at the column 2018 system has only merged the values for 2018 for all of these accounts similarly when we are talking about 2019 they have only used the values of 2019 similarly here only the values of 2020 well that was perfectly uh, awesome for the profit and loss statement because the p and l is prepared for specific periods but when we are talking about balance sheet you know balance sheet values are total to date as at values so which means that when i am talking about 2019 the values will be 2019 as well as 2018 2019 plus 2018 similarly for 2020 the values will be 2018 plus 19 plus 20 so we have to fix that and, and to fix that we have the option here in pivot tables so i will go to this value field settings and i will go to this uh, show value as and i will say please perform a calculation and that calculation should be that please calculate the running total now the next thing that excel is asking me is that that on which basis you want to calculate the running total so i will be selecting year from here and once i do that you will see that my values have now changed and actually if you can focus here actually these values are correct so i can definitely confirm you that these values for balance sheet are correct now so this is one final step that we will have to do when we are preparing a balance sheet using pivot tables i hope you have found it very useful